Now see this question. Here in this question, the circuit is given and we have to find the equivalent resistance. Here, if we analyze this circuit, then we see that these two points are directly connected and these two points are directly connected. It means the potential of these two points is same and potential of these two points is same. Suppose this is A and this is also A because they both are at same potential and we can treat these two points as single point that is B. Now we can redraw this circuit. Suppose this is point A and this is point B. Now we see that between A and B this 20 and this 5 ohm are connected. So we will connect 20 and 5 ohm. Okay. And we, we see that we have to find the equivalent resistance between this A and this is suppose 4 ohm and this is terminal where we have to calculate around which we have to calculate our EQ and this is sorry this is 6 ohm and this is 4 ohm okay suppose this is 1 this is 2 so A is a, between A and 2 4 ohm is connected and between B and 1 this 6 ohm is connected this is 1 now between B and A again this 35 and 15 ohm is connected so we will connect 35 ohm and this 50 ohm okay now see this 10 and 40 ohm are again connected between A and B Now this complex circuit is reduced to this very simple parallel combination, parallel series combination. So here what is the equivalent resistance? That is equals to this 4 ohm in series with this parallel combination and what is this? That is equals to this is 25 and these two are in series will make 85 sorry this is not 50 this is 15 so it will make 35 plus 15 50 ohm and this will make 10 plus 40 that is equals to 50 ohm so we can write it as 25 parallel 50 parallel 50 plus 6 ohm okay we know that 50 parallel 50 is 25 50 parallel 50 is equals to 25 so this is equals to 25 and 25 parallel 25 is equals to 25 by 2 that is equals to 12.5 so 4 ohm plus 12.5 ohm this 12.5 is the equivalent of this 25 ohm parallel with 50 ohm parallel with 50 ohm plus 6 ohm so we get 22.5 ohm answer so equivalent resistance of this circuit is 22.5 ohm now see this question in this question this circuit is given and we have to find the equivalent resistance between a and p so here we will use a concept it says that when this product r1 into r4 this is r1 this is r4 is equals to r3 into r2 in this case bridge is balanced okay so when bridge is balanced then there is no current through this branch so when there is no current through this branch 
so this branch is of no use okay so we can treat it as open circuit now this is very simple circuit we can redraw this circuit as because here this r1 into r4 is equals to 2 into 4 that is equals to 8 and this r3 into r2 that is also equals to 8 so it means both are equal that's why this bridge is balanced so this branch is of no use and we can redraw this circuit as a and b having this 2 and this 2 in series and this 4 and this 4 in parallel to this branch okay so the equivalent resistance r a b is equals to 2 plus 2 4 parallel with 4 parallel with 8 so we get 8 plus 4 and that is equals to 32 by 12 so simply we get 8 by 3 ohm so this is the answer of this question that is 8 by 3 ohm now see this question in this question the circuit is given and we have to find the capacitance between a and b so here these all are capacitor this is of 2 farad and this is 1 farad okay so here how we can solve this see suppose this is point 1 and this is point 2 and here we can see that at these po as these points 1 and 2 are directly connected it means they are at common potential so we can draw the circuit as suppose this is point a this is b and this is 1 and 2 because both are at same potential so we see that between a and 1 this 2 farad is connected okay suppose this 2 farad is connected between this a and 1 and this 2 farad is connected between 1 and b okay now see this 2 farad is connected between a and b so between a and b a 2 farad capacitance is connected that is this capacitance now this 1 farad is connected between a and 2 this is 1 farad and this is connected between a and 2 and this 1 farad is connected between b and 2 so this is the simple circuit now these two capacitances are in parallel and these two are in parallel so then they simply get add on so we get this is equals to 3 farad and this is equals to 3 farad okay and this is point b and this is simply 2 farad so what is the total capacitance between uh, this these two 3 farad capacitor have capacitance equivalent capacitance that is equals to simply 3 by 2 that is equals to 1.5 farad it is connected in parallel with this 2 farad capacitance so finally we get this is point a and this is 3.5 farad and this is point b so cab is equals to 3.5 farad so this is the solution of this question in this way you can find the equivalent resistance or equivalent capacitance of any circuit what you have to carefully see you have to see that which point in the circuit are at same potential so on on deciding the common potential point you can redraw the circuit as we do in this question after that you will be able to find the equivalent resistance or equivalent capacitance very easily okay if you got the knowledge and concepts from this video then please like the video and subscribe the channel. You can give your views and ask any questions related to this topic in comment box. Also share this video with your friends because sharing is caring.
don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming videos. Thank you.